There, my name's David, and I'm uh, from David Lee Events, and I'm just getting used to using uh, the Light Rider app, uh, the new updated version. I've been using the uh, older one on my old uh, iPad for uh, about two or three months, and went to upgrade and um, update uh, update the system. And unfortunately, I couldn't do it on my old iPad, so I'm using my old tablet. Tablet. Now this is more than a few years old, so it's, it does lag a little bit, which is the tablet, not the app. But we can go through uh, some of the basics. Now all I do is use colours, i.e. washers. My bars are my main uh, DJ setup. I also have other bars and other par cans, but I don't use heads. So the moving side of stuff I don't, I don't control. Now I use mine connected to a air bridge. Um, so I've got it connected to the Artnet device and I've got four pixel bars is the profile that I'm using and you've got live and fixtures click fixtures four, pic four pixtures, fixtures using 48 channels each and they're all going on strong there you have to excuse me this is the first time I've done anything like this so what we do we're going to go live and that brings up the, your dash. Now, bear in mind, I am really only using this section. Up here, you do have some inbuilts, and it says slow, medium, and hot, which are quite funky. They do the job at an instant if you haven't got anything programmed or you're on the wrong page. Medium. And hot, a bit more flashy, strobey. But yeah, still funky. At the top here, got a smoke smoke machine which I haven't looked into. You've got a blackout button, but it only works when you've got your finger on it, which is great if you're in the middle of a song and it's got a dead bit and you go, oh, ah, there we go. And then you've got full on. That's everything on. And then you've got freeze, which is a snowflake. Oh, so that's your full on. That's your everything off. That's your freeze. And that just stops everything where it is. And they've got a new one on here, which is a wow button, I think they call it. And basically you do that, and this will happen. Everything goes on, and then it goes twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. And it freezes on. Which is quite a good little thing if you need to bring someone's attention or something. Um, with that, what I've done... Now I've put one on every page, it's down here, oh, it's hard to see, but it says down here, oh, I've built a blackout button, that's not it because I'm on the wrong page, let's try that one, so I put a blackout button, so that was doing something like that, and then I built a blackout button because sometimes you need to black out rather than just for an instant, and it's nice to be able to do it, take your hand off, do whatever you've got to do, speak, whatever, and then you can just press any button, as long as it's been programmed. Unlike that one. Let's try and move over. There we go. So that's now doing a load of stuff. Woo! Okay. Now, a reason for that is, for example, on the home page, on my first page, I should say, on the first page, when I, I'm primarily doing weddings, so for the first page, my first button is this. So I'm invited to bride and groom onto the dance floor. Everyone's making a lot of noise, hands are clapping, blah, blah, blah. So I've got something like that going. Then I black out. And then we start the song. And then we've got a little twinkle going on. And I've got the two colours set on here as pink and white. Now you can change that. Dead easy. So you go there. Oop. Try to do it, look at the phone. Right. And you grab your pink and you pop it in the middle. And then it's just like a white twinkle then. You can... So you, but you can have obviously any colours you want. You don't have to have white. Let's move one to the blue and one to the red. So you can do all that. Then when it comes down here, so when you get on site, you find out what colours they've got. You set your colours. And then you go and you press and hold and you guys save and it saves everything ah, but because we went blackout did it before 
the main dimmer was off. Oh. God, this is going well, isn't it? There we go. So, and we're going to save that. There we go. So you got your blackout and you got your first dance, which is your red and blue. Right, so you can change it when you get on. It's dead easy. What you do is you bring up, you press the button. So you turn up, you press your first dance button. Da -da -da. Press your first dance button. Bring your colours up. Change your colours. Add a colour. Just want to. Ooh, I'm trying to do this looking at the phone, and then you bring your colours into the middle, and then you just click and save. And that's it. Now I've got a few slow programs built on here. On this first page I've got them all slows so I know where they are. And you can do different patterns. Multi chase out, there we go. Multi chase in. Now the reason I've got it like this is two of the bars are inverted. No one's going to know, apart from it allows you to do this inside-outside effect. And even better when you put the stake on it. So it goes up and down, up and down. Otherwise it would be up, and up, and up, and up. It depends on personal preference. I like the fact it goes up and down. And i got a fast one as well. All built in. Now what I've also got down the bottom here. ba 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 and on the last page, so the first page is all slow stuff, the last page is all strobe type effects. Various different settings, allowing you to add colour, just white, full on bars, sections of bars, just allowing you to have a lot of different strobe type effects. Because I'm only doing weddings, it's nice to have the effect, but you don't need a full on atomic whatever they're called um, to kill everyone. I'm not doing problems in 21st and 18th, so this works fine, just fine for me. And you go back to your buttons, and off you go. It's a great app, absolutely great. I love it. It saves your colours, which the old old version did, doesn't. You've got inbuilts that are dead easy to use, like your hot, medium. Uh, was it cold? Slow, medium and hot, there you go. Um, and it's just a great versatile DJ app, and it's free. Obviously I'm using an AirBridge, which isn't, but I believe you can plug a USB in and connect it directly uh, to your lights. So uh, yeah, I bought the AirBridge for something else. Um, that hasn't worked, but hey, I might as well use it for this because it does. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave that with you. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, cheers, David out.